Hey, what's up guys? Nuno here. Today it's a special video. It's a request that many of you asked and it's actually quite simple to do. How to add Megascans vegetation in Lumion. I'll show you step by step two ways to make this and I'll show you how to avoid a common mistake people make when importing these vegetation assets into Lumion. But before we start, if you'd like to learn more about how to get those realistic renders, I have a free training for that that you can sign up for. I'll leave a link in the top right corner and in the description below this video. So, as I said in the beginning of this video, this is a pretty simple thing to do and uh, you can just go here to the Quixel Bridge, you can download this Quixel Bridge at uh, Quixel website and once you install you'll see it like this and you can go here to collections and here you have vegetation so they have uh, these collections aquatic, uh, kairos, grass, ground cover, tropical for the purpose of this video we're going to select this tropical one now let's see what we have here maybe this one this one. So I'm going to select this one here. You can click here to maximize. Okay, so you can see better how it looks. You can see the textures and also how the model looks, the geometry. So it's with this here because this is the geometry. It will have an opacity mask. Uh, so let me go back here and I can close this up. Now, if you go here to this gear icon, you have download settings. For Lumion, what I add is the albedo. Okay, I always select the JPEG. We have the gloss, the normal, actually this one can go away, and displacement. And then for models, I have the lot zero, so it's the model with the highest uh, resolution. And uh, I also have here high poly source. If they have a high poly source, I like to have this as an option. But uh, for this case, I don't think they have. So let's just leave this on and of course as FBX and let's go back and now we can just press here this button download so now let me show you here I have so this is the folder with a preview okay that, that just downloaded and you have several variations each variation uh, comes with a different uh, LOD so different uh, uh, resolution of the model itself of course, the lot zero will be the, the most costly in terms of performance, but for this type of models, it will be running quite fast. You have no problems. So you have uh, four different variations for this plant and you have the textures here as well. So the textures, as you know, we have to load them into Photoshop. And here in Photoshop, as I've been telling you for a long time already, you need to invert the, the green in the normal map. And uh, actually many people ask me about this. And if you don't invert the green on this channel, you'll have some issues with the lighting. This particular model will be with the incorrect lighting. So always do this in the textures that come from uh, Megascans and from Polygon. And then the gloss map, I'm just going to press Ctrl A, Ctrl C. I'm going to create on the channels, um, here on the channels, you will click here on the bottom and create new channel. Okay, now we have this empty channel I'm gonna paste the texture okay that's it for this I can just press save and uh, I will save this as Targa and why Targa because Targa uh, has the 32-bit channel and it's just with a 32-bit channel that we can have this uh, uh, gloss map as alpha uh, channel so let's do this and we have here 32-bit channel okay if probably by default it will be like this 30, uh, 24 you just press here 32 Okay, now let's go to Lumion and uh, I'm going to save this, I'm going to go here. So now let's go here to import and I'm going to select the folder and uh, so I'm going to select this one, lot zero, let's open and I think uh, we can name this yeah, cat palm. So let's cat palm lot zero okay all right we place it okay here it's fine okay you can see the model 
and now let's load the textures let's select the material standard and go here choose color map and now we'll go here to textures atlas and select the albedo so this albedo is the color map in lumion and it's all dark and weird and actually you can still see all the geometry why so the first thing the dark is very easy to fix the, just go here to the colorization and reduce all the way okay now this one we need to take the texture to photoshop and apply the opacity mask in um, the alpha channel as well of the albedo so let's do that and if you notice i don't have here any opacity mask <laughs> and why because i forgot to tick here on the um, export settings here download settings the opacity mask so don't forget you also need the opacity mask for this uh, vegetation assets okay so now we can go back and download this again so i already have here my albedo now i'm just going to go here to again to channels create alpha go here to the opacity mask Control c to copy it and paste and now i'm just going to save it and save okay now let's head over to lumion and select again the color map and now let's load the target file which one the one that has the alpha channel okay now we can see that it's transparent this area and we just see the the leaves itself okay so now let's remove first this normal okay because it was the normal map that lumin created automatically but uh, we don't need that because we have our normal map and we're going to actually and we are going to select it and open okay so we can already see more or less how it looks okay so what i usually do here it's i adjust just a little bit the the reflection so if i want a little bit more or less and uh, also the weathering i leave it in the stone and increase a little bit if i want more a little bit more contrast here in these areas on the shadows and lastly it also depends on the type of uh, plant but if it's a plant that when the sun uh, for example like this it's hitting from the the back it will have more of this subsurface uh, which means that it's uh, the light passing through the leaves so if i want that i can just adjust here this waxiness okay so you can see a little bit of difference here but for now i'm going to leave it uh, off and uh, let me just go to the render move this more to this position So you can see that this is looking great, but I said that I wanted to show you a common uh, mistake that people usually do with this type of assets, and it's this. If you look from the back, the leaf disappeared. Okay, here you can see, here there's nothing. See? Nothing, 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 and from the top you can see. And why is this happening? Because you just have uh, on one face don't have double-sided the material and so you just it's just drawing on one side okay so this side no and this side is drawing so how can we fix this there is actually one very easy way to do all of these types of assets and we're going to do this with lime exporter so let's get back here to quicksilver bridge and if you open uh, 3ds max and now you go back to bridge with the same asset, I'm just going to click here to export. And now this is going to open this asset in 3ds Max. Okay, here I have the, the asset. I think it's with a lot of, uh, lot of these different versions together. So let me just separate a little bit this. Okay, I'm going to delete this one. This one is fine. Actually, I'm going to move this one here 
and okay something like this so for this i'm going to use the lime exporter version 2 it's the one that works best with this type of assets and so here what we can do to fix this issue we can select the models one two three and we can just click here correct model okay now you'll see this a uh, little bit of this triangulation here but it's it's okay this uh, the model will be fixed now you can even click here uh, show model error actually I have to select show model error and then correct the model okay let me go back to perspective you can cl simply click here show textures okay like this actually here okay this should be the top view okay and uh, now with this i'm going to cl click here whole scene so it's asking me to save the scene before because this scene wasn't saved anywhere it's it just exported directly from from quixel bridge so let's save it i'm gonna call this palmcat okay now i can export the scene so once it's done it's gonna ask you to download the file so i'm gonna click yes and it will go to your browser and so this is the file i'm just going to place it on my folder okay now here in lumion let's load again this so okay so now we have here the new one from uh, lime okay and let's see so as you can see now from all the sides you have leaves okay it's not happening like this one <laughs> this one already disappeared and this one here it's still there see okay so it's uh, clearly one of the benefits of using lime because it does the, all of this automatically and now let's go here to the material and standard and here it's already as well with the opacity as you can see so i don't have to do this again and with the normal map i'm just going to load that normal map that i created before okay just going to adjust the parameters again a little bit and actually on this one i'm going to increase the waxiness all the way just so you can see the difference let's go to the render Okay. Actually, let me just move it more to this side. Okay, actually, let me just adjust a little bit the lighting here. And I'm also going to remove now the waxiness. So you can see here all of these uh, elements so and you can uh, do this with uh, a lot of different assets i have here already a couple of mega scans library so even this a lot of these uh, ferns so you can place all of this and start creating your environment And so you see that um, one thing that you need to pay attention is that these assets are made for uh, video games. So they don't have a lot of geometry, even though they are quite detailed, they are not as detailed as you find from sites like Max3, for example, or even in Polygon, you have some very, very nice plants. So this, these elements are nice, for example, especially since they are uh, light, as I said, to use in video games, 
to use at more elements like this on the on the background at a little bit more distance so because they will not have such an impact on your performance as the others they also look quite nice as you can see here all of these elements And by the way, if you want to learn a little bit more about mega scans and what is mega scans, I also have a video for that and I'll leave a link in the top right corner. And that's all for today. Let me know if you have any questions. The best place to ask me, it's in the comments below this video. I hope you like this video and I'll see you in the next one.